Apple's Magic Keyboard for the iPad is absolutely superb, but it is so expensive. You have to sell a very important body part just to afford one. That's silly. But the good news is, I have found a brilliant alternative. If your finger's been hovering over the buy button for the Apple Magic Keyboard, I know exactly how you're feeling. It took me way too long to buy one for my business, even though I needed to review it. It just seemed so expensive. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely thing, it's convenient, it's got that kind of Apple magic, but it's $349 if you want the 12.9 inch version. And it makes an already expensive iPad even more expensive. But what if I told you there's an alternative for about a third of the price? Well, there is and it's not terrible. In fact, it's really, really good. It's made by Banks, who very kindly sent me this one to review, and they're also sponsoring this video. But rest assured, all of the views you're about to see are my own. So let's get into it. So let's quickly look at the Apple options for this. Apple gives us two types of keyboard for the iPad Pro. The first one is the Smart Keyboard Folio. At $179, it's not cheap, and it's still more expensive than that Banks option. And yes, it adds both a case and a keyboard to your iPad, and there's no Bluetooth messing around, but it doesn't have a trackpad, and it's still $179. So we'll strike that one off the list immediately, and that does leave us with that Magic Keyboard, which is seen as the default option for a lot of people who are buying a new iPad Pro or iPad Air, but it's $349, as I mentioned, for the 12.9 inch version, and $300 for the 11 inch version. Now for that, you do get a lot of convenience. So to use the Magic Keyboard, you just attach your iPad to it magnetically, and away you go. There's no power management, no Bluetooth connection, and in typical Apple fashion, it just works. But it's still very expensive, as I keep saying. So what can Banks offer us with this? This is the Urban Pro keyboard case from Banks, who are one of my favorite accessory manufacturers. In fact, if you're a regular viewer, you'll have seen Banks on this channel quite a bit, particularly their headphone stand, which is just behind me here. I'll put a link to that in the description because it is very, very good. But this is basically a keyboard case for both the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And the big difference between this and Apple's Magic Keyboard is that it has a detachable keyboard. It's just $120 for this, the 12.9 inch version, and $109 for the 11 inch version. And it's made from quite a similar material to the Magic Keyboard. Dare I say it, it's slightly nicer. It doesn't mark quite as much as the Magic Keyboard. And trust me, that's a good thing. Now, if I just open it up, you'll see that it does fold right around like that, which you can't do with the Magic Keyboard. And it offers pretty good protection all around. It doesn't protect the screen, but that isn't really its job. For me, the job of that is for the paper-like screen protector. If you haven't tried a paper-like screen protector, you are missing out. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, it's a pretty sturdy thing, this. And it does immediately give you something that the Magic Keyboard doesn't give you, which is this kind of wraparound case. And as for the keyboard, Banks gives us full-size keys and also a nicely sized trackpad. And to prop this thing up, it's got a very Microsoft Surface-like flap at the back, or like a kickstand, which you fold down like this at pretty much any angle you want. Oh, whoa, hang on, what's this? It's a little holder for the Apple Pencil. That's right, it does have this little trick up its sleeve, which is a built-in magnetic hidden compartment for the Apple Pencil, which basically stops it being lost in your backpack, in your rucksack, in your luggage, wherever it might be. That's happened to me. I have had my Apple Pencil fall off the top of the iPad in my rucksack, and it can be a bit worrying at times. But if we get back to that kickstand, if I just fold this down, the hinge is really satisfying, very Apple-like. It feels very much like the hinges that you get on the Magic Keyboard, which is nice and reassuring. But we can pull that down, place it on the desk, and there you go. And it gives you, I think, more angles than the Magic Keyboard. You can definitely angle this far more conveniently when you're typing. Now, as mentioned earlier, you can detach the keyboard just like that. It's magnets, nice and secure, but if you don't need the keyboard for whatever reason, you can just detach it, put it elsewhere. And the really cool thing about that is that you still got this part of the case attached to your iPad. So I can still use that kickstand. I can pull it down like that, and there we go. And this is really handy if you wanna use your iPad in this fashion, but have something else in front of it that isn't the keyboard. That really annoys me with the Magic Keyboard because 
the keyboard and the trackpad are always there. You can't get rid of them. With this, you can. You can get shot of it, put your lunch in front of your iPad while you're watching YouTube or whatever, and it's just very convenient. And it's also worth mentioning that you can still use the keyboard like this. Because it uses Bluetooth, I can put this elsewhere, like over there for instance, take the keyboard and carry on typing. Very useful ergonomically, if for instance you want to have your iPad raised on some books or something, you can do that. It's just very versatile. And then just to reattach it all, again, because it's magnets, done. Oh, and if you want to work in portrait mode, you can do that as well. So if I just set this up again, take the iPad out of the case, there's a little ridge at the bottom here, which I'll show you now, a little ridge where you can just place your iPad on top of it, nice and securely. And then you've got a vertical iPad. Again, you can't do that with the Magic Keyboard. When it comes to battery life, it's rated at 100 hours of continual use, which is fantastic. And it charges via USB-C, which is obviously very important. And when you close the lid, you can actually leave this turned on. So you can leave the Urban Pro turned on and it will still last up to two to three months in a sleep mode. So it's really convenient when it comes to the battery. You just need to charge it occasionally just to make sure it's got some juice in there. It's really impressive for the money. When you stack it up against that Magic Keyboard, this is hard to look past. There are a couple of things to be aware of with the Urban Pro. So for instance, it's not quite as plug and play as the Magic Keyboard because you do have to pair it via Bluetooth, although you only have to do that once. So that's not exactly a heavy lift, really. I also found the keys a little bit slightly too spaced apart for my typing style, but I am quite a lazy typist. And what I've found since I've been using this, it's making me slightly more accurate because I'm paying more attention to my typing style. But overall, it's a very nice keyboard. Nice travel given the yeah, the size of this thing. In terms of weight, it's not too bad actually, but if you've never attached a keyboard case to your iPad Pro, it's worth bearing in mind that they do add obviously bulk and a bit of weight. This one, it feels a bit like a MacBook Air, an M1 MacBook Air, once you've got it attached weight-wise, it's not too bad. But just keep that in mind. If you're gonna add all of this functionality to your iPad Pro, it's gonna weigh a little bit more. I'm really impressed with the Banks Urban Pro. It's a serious alternative to that magic keyboard from Apple. And if you're willing to forgo some of that Apple magic, you'll save yourself a whole heap of cash and you'll gain some extra functionality thanks to the kickstand, thanks to that hidden Apple pencil compartment and the fact that you can detach the keyboard. That is more useful than you might think. I find recommending the magic keyboard very difficult. I don't find recommending this very difficult at all. It's really good. Check out the link in the description.